next question looks at two radar diagrams and you may not be really familiar with them might have glossed over them a bit in the in the a level um but i'm here to talk about them and they're you know like whereas histograms are not completely intuitive when you first look at one radar diagrams you can kind of see what's going on we've got a key here and we've got these diagrams to to look at and if you've you know looked at like played football computer games you they'll often have player profiles um with radar diagrams or something like Pokemon even. Um, you know, these are some other examples where radar diagrams occur. So we are asked, oh, one other thing. Uh, this also, this question is related to the large data set. Okay, so if you have spent some time on the large data set, then you will be a bit more familiar with, with what is actually going on. If you haven't actually you, although it might be a little bit trickier, you can still answer this question. So it's not something to stress about, actually. So we're told the scales on the two diagrams are different. As we can see here, the numbers are going up by different amounts. States an advantage and a disadvantage of using different scales in order to make comparisons between the ages of people in these two local authorities. So advantage, first of all. Well, we can actually, it makes it easier to compare the shape. and also proportions. We could, in theory, you know, more easily calculate percentage of people who are between 0 and 17, or at least see which is the highest proportion. So you can see Rutland has, out of all its age groups, it has a, high, a higher proportion of people between 0 and 17, and a higher proportion than Liverpool, for example. Disadvantage. It's going to be harder to compare sizes. Okay, it's going to be a bit harder to read this off and compare it directly with that. I mean, you can, of course, you can read it off by just, but looking at the graph, it's not going to be obvious. For example, although we have, a, you know, it looks like we've got a lot of people here, it's still actually much less than the number of 0 to 17 year olds in Liverpool. And just some, I want to show you the mark scheme because there's, you know, there's a lot of things that are accepted here. So type one answers, data or imply comparing proportions. That's basically what I was saying. Um, and disadvantage, it's harder to compare sizes. These things are talked about. This means Rutland and this is Liverpool. Type two answers, state or imply with same scale. Sizes of diagrams would be very different. Okay, so that's kind of a different way of saying um, why why making them on the same scale is is good. State or imply mismatch between diagram size and population size. Okay, you can have a read of that if you want, but just something along the lines that I've said or that's in here and you're sorted. In part two, it says approximately how many people aged 45 to 59 were there in Liverpool? So I'm looking at this diagram on the left and I'm looking at 45 to 59. So it's going to be the radius four that I'm interested in. And therefore, I want to roughly read off what this represents. Now we can see we go 50,000, 100,000, 150,000. So this here is 100,000. So I'm going to go with 90,000. Actually, a range of values are accepted. I think 75,000 to 95,000 and even if you said less than you know less than 100,000 you might get some credit but I'd say putting in a number is a good idea. Part 3 state the main two differences between the age profiles of the two local authorities. Well I'm, my first one I'm going to talk about the 0 to 17 because you can see the proportion is higher than for Liverpool. So that would be a main difference. It says the, the main two differences. I don't know. I don't know what the main two differences are. I just have to say two significant differences, I think. So Rutland. Has a higher. Proportion. Of. People. between 
0 and 17 than Liverpool. And it makes sense to just, I think, just compare another lot of ages. So if we looked at one, actually, we see that suddenly it jumps in over here for 18 to 29 year olds, whereas Liverpool, it becomes um, a larger proportion. So I will write this down, um, running out of space. between 18 and 29. So there's lots of possible answers here, actually. Um, I have I think I've used answer type one. Liverpool has a smaller proportion of 60 to 74 than Rutland. I didn't use that one, but I went with this one and this one. Okay, but like I said, just as long as it's kind of sensible and relating to these things, then you're okay. So that was comparing proportions. The second type is like looking maybe at the highest proportion. So Liverpool's highest proportion was 18 to 29, whereas Rutland's was 0 to 17. So slightly different type of comparison. And then the type 3, comparing proportions in the same age. Liverpool has a high proportion, 18 to 29, and Rutland has a low proportion. So that's kind of looking at absolute values, you know, like Liverpool has a high, Rutland has a low, rather than just comparing them and saying Liverpool has a higher one. Different answers possible. I think the two that I put down were fine. In the last part, James makes the following claim. Assuming that there are no significant movements of population either into or out of the two regions, the 2021 census results are likely to show an increase in the number of children in Liverpool and a decrease in the number of children in Rutland. Use the radar diagrams to give a justification for this claim. Well, we can see that whilst Rutland had a very high proportion between 0 and 17, they're not going to be having children. Whereas 18 to 29, 30 to 44, they are much more likely to. And you can see the proportions are relatively low, actually, really for 18 to 29. Whereas for Liverpool, much higher. Actually, proportion for Rutland is higher. 30 to 44 but i'd say the key bit is this one and this one so we need to give a justification um so so why this claim is actually we're not we're not disputing the claim we're actually trying to justify it so liverpool has a large proportion of 18 to 29 year olds. Rutland has a small proportion. This is the most likely age group to be having children. Of course, I'm not dismissing the fact that 30 to 44 may have children, but we're just finding the claim, and this is the key bit to look at. So I'm just going to write, this justifies the claim. Let's take a look once more at the, uh, the mark scheme. So must state the group who are most likely to have babies. Okay, I've gone with 18 to 29. And the group is large in Liverpool and small in Rutland. Like I said, it's actually the proportion is higher for these in Rutland 
So I don't quite agree with that. Um, but that's why I focus on number two. All right. Hard to explain this question, but I've done my best. Hope you're okay with that. Thanks.